The multi-screen effect or split screen effect that's having several videos sharing the screen at the same time, it's a very cool video effect, but it can be rather difficult to create. Traditionally, it's created using several tracks of video, using some cropping and positioning. It can get very, very complicated. But Adobe has added a very intuitive tool to Premiere Elements that makes this effect much simpler. To locate the tool, just go to the Create button here in the upper right-hand corner, and from it, select Video Collage. As you can see, there are a number of templates available for your video collage, some with as few as three videos on screen at the same time to as many as seven on screen at the same time. Very cool. Let's select a nice simple one here. We'll select this template and then click Apply. And this will be the template we'll work with. This is going to be very simple. Go to the media bin. Let's add some video files here. We'll just sort of grab this one, hold down the control key, this one, and then this one. Okay, now that we've got our clips, we can simply drag them into the template. Now we'll drag this one down here, this one here, and this one over here. Now you'll notice there are a couple adjustments you can make. For instance, there is a hand on here that appears when I hover my mouse over a given frame here in the grid, and I can drag it to position my video in the frame. I can also use this little zoomer to bring it closer or farther away. Let's reposition this one too. By the way, you do want to make sure that you're making your adjustments within this square. If you grab out here, you'll actually move the entire grid frame and that's not really what you want to do. And we'll put this into position also. Now there are a couple of options that pop up as you select each frame here in the grid. One is to allow the audio that exists on the clip to be heard. I'm going to turn that off for each of these. That could be really distracting to use the clip's audio. You also have a swap option. So in other words, if I select this frame and click on the swap button here, and then click on another frame, it will swap videos with it. So you saw those two frames swapped. I can also throw out the video clip or replace it with another clip simply by dragging it from my media bin onto the existing clip. We can also trim it. Now trimming it is going to be kind of something your judgment here. There are a couple of playback options. And if you go over here to the right, you'll see the playback settings. There is a standard playback setting in which each frame here in the grid is going to play individually. So as you can see from the diagram, this frame in the upper left will play, then the lower left, and then the video on the right will play. That will play in succession. So we have an eight second clip, then a 13 second clip, then a two minute and 27 second clip. You also have the option of having all the clips play simultaneously. Now, if you select this option, you'll also want to trim your clips because if you've got a two minute clip and you've got an eight second clip, what's going to happen after this eight second clip plays? Well, it's just going to stay as a freeze frame while the two minute clip plays on. So in other words, you want these clips to kind of be about the same length. It could be kind of distracting to see clips play and then go freeze frame while another clip continues. Although maybe that's the effect you want to. To trim your videos, very simple. So my shortest video here is an eight second video. And I can select this one down here is 13 seconds and click on the trimmer. That will open up this trim area. And now this looks similar to the clip monitor, right? We can drag this in and make this into an eight second clip. Very nice. So now these are the same length. Well, this is a second longer. And we can select also this video of Jean-Michel and in the trimmer, bring it down to about eight seconds also. Notice the duration appears here in the lower right hand corner. So as I trim it, I can get pretty precise. There we go, eight seconds. Perfect, and I'll close the trimmer window. And now all of these videos are the same length. Let's go ahead and make this uh, nine seconds precisely. There we go. Now they're all exactly eight seconds. So if I select the option for them to all three play at the same time, they're all gonna start at the same time and they're all gonna end at the same time. By the way, when I click the preview button, you're also gonna notice there's a little animation so that all of these clips fall into this grid through an animation. So let's click on preview down here at the bottom of the screen. And here's what our preview looks like. Boop, boop, boop. 
Kind of cool the way the grid appears. And now each clip is playing. And when we reach the end of eight seconds, they all stop. Very nice. Now, one other option you have is the option to add music. If you click on the little musical note here, it will open up scores. And scores are something we're going to discuss a little bit later here in the course. And your musical scores, you can select from a number of styles. And the program will create or generate a musical clip that's exactly the length of your video collage. So in this case, we've got an eight second video collage. If we were to select one of these musical styles and click apply, the program would create eight second musical score that would go perfectly with this video collage. Now you're not going to be able to hear it, unfortunately, because the audio is not going to come through here to my microphone, but you'll be able to see what the video collage looks like once it's done anyway. So we could preview this along with music, along with its animation, along with all three clips playing at the same time. And when we're done, we can save it or exit it. Now, if you exit it, you're going to lose your work. If you save it, it's going to save it as a VC file. That's a video collage file that you can re-edit. More likely what you want to do is export it to the timeline. The options up here at the top right of the screen, and this will save it as a video file on your timeline. Or if you want, you can click export and share, and that will open the export panel from what you have the option of saving it as a video file or even porting it directly to Facebook, Vimeo, or YouTube. So a lot of cool options here. I'm going to just select export to timeline and it will generate a video file. Click OK and exit. It's going to say, do I want to save it? Yeah, we might as well save this, right? So we'll save this one and call it chocolate collage. So in case we need to re-edit it, we can grab it. And there it is on my timeline a video collage we created using the simple grids right here in Premiere Elements. Very cool tool, brand new in version 15.